Hello beautiful people and welcome back to another I Tell Eats and Treats video where we prioritize health and longevity. So as usual, I am starting off my day with some Jamaican herbal guaco tea. This is amazing for detox and it's also amazing for menstrual cramps. It's antiviral, anti-inflammatory. It's just overall amazing for you. Link to purchase will be in the description box down below. Now to start off my day, I'm going to go ahead and make a anti-parasitic blueberry papaya and pineapple pineapple smoothie and i'm tossing in some homemade sea moss that i made sea moss is absolutely amazing for you and out of the 102 minerals that we need sea moss has 92 of them then i had just a little teeny bit of plant-based yogurt from almond milk left over and i went ahead and shook that up with some water so it could be like a sort of liquid and i accidentally dropped my frozen fruit on the table and i put like maca powder in there ashwagandha medjool dates vanilla the smoothie was really really good but next Next time i would have wanted to use like a creamier milk maybe like some cashew milk or some hemp seed milk i feel like that would have really upped the flavor of this smoothie but overall it was really nice I love making smoothies. They may or may not replace a meal for me, but on this particular day, it did, and I had absolutely no problem with that. It was super nice, and it literally made 64 ounces. I only ate, drank 32 ounces, though, and it was extremely filling and delicious. So, after that giant smoothie, it was almuerzo, it was lunchtime, I went ahead and snacked on a couple of nuts, but I decided I'm going to make this gluten-free chickpea wrap with a walnut ground beef recipe. All of the recipes that you see in this video will be linked on my website, italeatsandtreats.com, and in the description box down below, so check that out for a printable recipe. But yes, I'm making my delicious walnut ground beef. It's so good. It's almost alkaline and it's just absolutely incredible and packed with vitamins and nutrients and just tastes straight up delicious and it can also be made completely raw vegan if you soak them overnight but i only had time to soak them for about like 15 minutes and i like the cooked version because i like my food hot so i'm combining these walnuts with some baby bella mushrooms to spread them out but the recipe on my website only calls for walnuts very easy and simple to make literally probably takes about maybe 10 or so seconds to pulse up in the food processor and looks really good and looks and has kind of a similar texture to ground beef as well so here is the filling and i'm also making this soy free and using it with coconut aminos but of course soy sauce can be used in place of that but coconut aminos is completely soy free and gluten free as well what now let's go ahead and make this chickpea flour wrap it's incredibly simple it's literally just chickpea flour mixed with some waza and i accidentally messed up the first couple times because i'm just not the best person at making wraps on the stove i feel like i always mess up with wraps and pancakes and anything that requires a flip when i used to eat eggs i used to mess up on omelets okay so do not like try to fight me the recipe works okay it's just sometimes when it comes to wraps i'm not the best person but hey at least i can do other things anyways this wrap is very high in protein and like i said also gluten-free but it can just be replaced with a regular tortilla wrap or like corn flour wrap whatever you want to do i just wanted to do this because i thought it was cool to make a wrap by myself by the way this salad spinner is absolutely top tier and look at all of the liquid that it got out of the kale that was soaking anyways always make sure that you massage your kale it helps it become a lot more easily digestible 
and we do not want to be eating a kale that has not been massaged because it can hurt your tummy and it's really hard to chew okay so i made two of these wraps in total and they were absolutely delicious and i love especially the chickpea flour wrap because it adds more protein and if i were to eat this alone with just the walnut meat there's not much protein in the walnuts or the mushrooms there's a good amount of protein but not as much as the chickpea flour wrap so that definitely a one up to this entire recipe i think in total I actually had one more wrap but the wrap kind of fell apart so i kind of used it as like nacho bits but it was still really delicious and just look at how pretty and how beautiful it looks if there's one recipe you have to make in this video it's definitely this because it was so tasty For dinner is a very random thing that I decided to make on this day that ended up tasting absolutely amazing. So I've been obsessed with Ethiopian food and Ethiopian flavors lately. And this recipe is not currently on the blog, but I can put it in the description box down below if anybody is interested. It's literally just some pumpkin mixed with some garlic and some onion and some chickpeas and some Ethiopian Berber spice seasoning. And oh my gosh, mm, chef's kiss. This was so good. It's almost alkaline. You can just take out the garlic and replace the pumpkin with the butternut squash to make it fully Dr. Sebi approved but oh my goodness this tasted so amazing Berber spice seasoning is just so delicious and so tasty it doesn't really need many other seasoning it's just like a win-win on its own and I just chuck it on top of a lot of my sheet pan oven meals and it comes together very well so this came together after about maybe 30 or 40 minutes and it was so tasty and so delicious and obviously high in protein so i have cooked up some quinoa off camera and decided to pair it with that and the chickpeas along with the quinoa adds for extra protein this whole thing is probably like 30 grams of protein per serving there's a lot of protein in the quinoa and obviously a lot of protein look at that please just look on it it look nice -y. and the chickpeas and i added some kale and then i added some I added in some artichokes per don't make fun of me, but I'm gonna add in some of that liquid from the artichoke. What? <laughs> Cause it tastes good. Ta-da! It look goody? Yeah, man. <laughs> Here is a quick and friendly reminder to make sure that you're getting in your greens at least one time per day and you can see it here on this day that I got in my greens two times per day. I usually love to get in my greens when I wake up in a green juice but because I had a smoothie instead of a green juice I wanted to get in some kale twice a day and I got the fiber from that as well. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a beautiful day and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!